Look over here at this expression. We're going to find the actual values of x, the ones which satisfy the system. Square root of x squared minus 1 plus x squared is equal to 3. How can we do it? I'm looking here at an x squared minus 1. I'm looking here at an x squared. I want to have this x squared look like that, and I can. I'll pluck out a 1 from here, and I'll leave a 2 behind. And it will look like this. I'll have here a square root of x squared minus 1 plus x squared minus 1. This 1 comes here from 3. I've split 3 into 1 and a 2 is equal to a 2. Now this looks something like this. I can do a substitution. If u is equal to square root of x squared minus 1, I can say this right here is a u. This right here becomes a u squared, and that's equal to 2. You push this here and make a quadratic equation. u squared plus u minus 2 is equal to 0. Factor this out. u plus 2 and u minus 1 is equal to 0. You know here u is equal to 1 comma minus 2. But we know u is equal to this, so bring that back in. I'm looking at square root of x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 comma minus 2. When you push the square root on the other side, these items will square. x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 comma 4. Solve for x. I have here x squared is equal to what will we have? A 2 comma 5. You're taking the square on the other side, it'll become a root. x here is equal to plus and minus root 2 comma plus and minus root 5. Now you have to test these out. When you test these out, you'll find out plus and minus root 5 does not satisfy the above expression, but plus and minus root 2 do. So your solutions over here will be x is equal to plus and minus root 2. These solutions will be correct.